Hello everyone, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari. I know your university exam is around the corner, so I thought to continue rapid revision series. In this video, we will quickly revise gout. So let's start. So first we will see definition of gout. So gout is a basically metabolic disease which occurs due to hyperuricemia that is increased uric acid production and it is characterized by acute or chronic arthritis of peripheral joints. So that is the definition of gout. Now we will see etiology of gout. So gout basically occurs due to the increased production of uric acid and the second decreased excretion of uric acid. So first we will see causes related to the increased production of uric acid. So it is divided into two headings. One is the primary hyperuricemia and second is the secondary hyperuricemia. So the causes for the primary hyperuricemia are increased PRPP synthetase activity, increased PRPP amidotransferase over, over activity that is phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate amidotransferase over activity if there is an absence of SGPRTS, that is hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase enzyme. If there is a deficiency of this enzyme, then it leads to the less Nian syndrome. And another cause is glucose 6-phosphatase deficiency, which leads to the Van Gogh disease, which is the type 1 glycogen storage disease. So these are the causes for the primary hyperuricemia. Now causes for the secondary hyperuricemia are malignancy which leads to increased nucleic acid turnover and the second cause is alcohol consumption which leads to increased production of uric acid. So these are the causes for the increased production of uric acid. Now we will see causes for the decreased uric acid excretion. So these causes are first one is renal failure and the second one is inhibition of uric acid secretion by thiazide diuretics, lactic acid and by ketone bodies. That is related to the etiology of gout. Now we will see what are the clinical features. So gout is characterized by redness, swelling and pain of the affected joints, particularly the peripheral joints and the first metatarsophalangeal joint will be affected first, that is great toe. Then it also leads to TOFI, that is deposition of urate crystals in the connective tissues and it can lead to the renal stone and this is occurred due to the decreased solubility of uric acid. So these are the clinical features of gout. Now we will see diagnosis, how you can diagnose the case of gout. So gout is characterized by hyperuricemia, that is increased uric acid production. In the gout, there will be increased plasma level of uric acid that is greater than 7 mg per deciliter. Normal level is 3 to 7 mg per deciliter. Apart from this, you can also demonstrate uric acid crystals in tissues as well as in the synovial fluid. So this is how you can diagnose the case of gout. Now in the last, we will see treatment of gout. So in the treatment, first ask the patient to Take purine free diet, reduce the intake of alcohol and drink plenty of water. Apart from this, you have to prescribe certain medications and these medications are, first one is the allopurinol which will reduce the production of uric acid by inhibiting the xanthine oxidase enzyme. Then second one is the colchicin which will inhibit the phagocytosis. Then steroids, it will inhibit the phospholipase A2 enzyme. Then anesides, anesides will inhibit the cyclooxygenase enzyme. Then probenicid, probenicid is the uricosuric drug which will increase the excretion of uric acid. And the last sodium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate will do the alkalin alkalinization of urine. So that is all about gout. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from my YouTube channel. Thank you.